Hello growers, I am going to tell about the abortion in cucumber. We are in uh, cucumber greenhouse. You see the nice crop and good setting. And I most of the varieties grown in the uh, polyos are uh, uh, multi fruiting varieties per node. You see two, uh, two fruits or three fruits per internode. You can see here uh, two fruits and three fruits per internode. Normally, uh, cucumber in a lifetime of 100 days it can produce around 100, uh, 400 to 500 uh, fruits like this these are all parthenocarpic varieties and multi fruiting varieties in such conditions uh, they they do abort some of the fruits do abort you see here this is an abortion happening and this will not make fruit so this will uh, drop off so and also this can lead to a fungal infestation called botrytis you can see here so it is drying and the botrytis is a fungi which comes in so normally when the growers uh, uh, grow cucumber after cucumber and that too in a season in a different seasons and this uh, abortion do happen when they are growing the multi fruiting varieties so in such kind of scenarios what should be done for example, fruit thinning can also be practiced. For example, in order to avoid such kind of scenarios, uh, thin out the misshapen fruits, thin out the misshapen fruits and also thin out uh, the uh, extra fruits so that whatever the crook fruits can be thin out in order to avoid uh, the abortion as well as the botrytis. So in such conditions, if you see more abortion in hot and humid condition, we need to spray a fungicide for the prevention of botrytis. First, we have to have a good ventilation and then also before planting, if the growers are growing cucumber after cucumber continuously, uh, we have to sanitize the greenhouse and then take the preventive measures of sanitization and then plant and then make sure that you prune once you start to uh, uh, see the nice harvest of the cucumbers and then you once after you uh, as, uh, uh, start harvesting and then uh, take the fruits, uh, misshapen fruits and allow one or two fruits per internode so in such in such scenarios we can prevent uh, the infection you see here there's only two fruits and then uh, two fruits per internode so if we are having two fruits per internode then we get a nice uh, shape and also uh, we will not have a, a abortion so here you see here this is getting aborted this do get abort then better to remove so allow two fruits and then as I said, uh, when you see botrytis is uh, going up more and more, then use uh, uh, systemic fungicides. Uh, make sure good systemic fungicides are applied and, uh, and don't harvest. Uh, uh, follow the pre-harvest interval after you spray the fungicides. Since it is a salad and then we have to follow uh, uh, pre-harvest interval of uh, any of the fungicide that you are planning to spray for the botry botrytis. Otherwise, in a polyos, if you are maintaining very well, good, well, good ventilation, a decent climate of 60 to 70 percent humidity and then very well, good ventilation and fruit pruning and less abortion varieties, uh, we can prevent uh, the botrytis and we can get a good production of around 4.5 to 5 kg per plant with an average fruit weight of 130 to 140 grams. This is all about uh, multi, multi bearing, parthenocarpic mini cucumbers in the palios. Thank you.